All right, it's that time to ask and see what's in store for next week for Gemini. What is going to be in store this week for Gemini? Already we've got a couple cards here. Okay, the first card we have is the Two of Swords. So you might be trying to balance out some uh, decision here, being that there's the heart. Um, I feel like it's some decision about love. We also have some hummingbirds and some swans in the photo. So those might be of significance to you. Um, yeah, you're balancing out some decision here. Then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you might be feeling very moody about something. Um, there's turtles. Turtles make me think that you might be um, going inside your shell, like putting up a shell. Um, maybe you're kind of um, not letting other people see how uh, emotionally upset you are over this decision. Then we have the Fool in reverse. Um, I see foxes here, a monkey, and birds. And it's, um, that's telling me that you're afraid to take the necessary action to take the next step um, in making this decision. Then we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, which is telling me that you might be really, um, you might be dealing with some sadness, you're underjoyed, you have a dragon here and an owl, um, you might also be down on your luck, um, since we have the dragon there. What else is in store this week for Gemini? Jim and I be able to make their decision. What is this decision that Gemini is trying to make? We well, had one there, but I wanted to go back in there. What is this decision that Gemini is trying to make? We got some here. here. We have the Queen of Swords. That's definitely your energy. Um, you're not being able to communicate what you want. You have butterflies here, so maybe you need to go through a transformation. I just love these cards. They have so much imagery on them, so that it's really easy to pick up um, subtle details. Um, then we have the Ten of Wands. I see a snail on here. So once again, you're trying to be inside your shell. This is, this is the t right side up. I see like you're coming out of your shell. And you're building the courage. I think you're building the courage to make the decision you need to make. I'm not really sure what this decision is quite yet. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're you're taking your time making this decision. Um, maybe we'll get some more cards that clarify what this decision is because I'm not really seeing it yet what this decision is that you're trying to make. Um, but you're definitely taking your time. Once again we have a dragon. so. Um, maybe your luck is improving uh, once you start taking the time and coming out of your shell to make that decision. Get a couple more cards for this week for Gemini. We 
love to know what this decision is about. Maybe it's uh, about something that you're trying to communicate since we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Maybe you're trying to make a decision to say something. You're trying to say something that um, you're, you're not sure how to say what you want to say. I don't know what it's about. There we go. We've got a couple more cards here. We have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is telling me that you need to make a wish and make the appropriate action to um, to fulfill your wish. And we have we have foxes here. Uh, we have um, dandelions uh, being blown in the wind. So maybe make a wish on a dandelion. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Uh, the Seven of Swords is telling me that you're planning on communicating the truth of something that you're trying, I still am not clear on what you're trying to communicate. You're trying to tell somebody or, s trying to tell someone something. You're trying to get something off your chest. We have the swans and the crows or ravens. In, um, in here we have one sword that really stands out as like the Ace of Swords. So that's telling me that you're going to be able to communicate what you want to communicate by the end of the week. You're going to slowly build up the courage and strength to communicate what you've been wanting to say. Um, now I'm going to pull from the Mermaid uh, Tarot deck and see what hopefully we can get an idea maybe you don't want us to know what you're trying to communicate but um there's definitely something on your mind that you want to communicate gemini we might get a better idea here um we have the moon in reverse definitely some secrets going on here so you're, you're definitely holding in a secret and it's weighing you down and you're really scared about communicating what it is. Here I see you with the Five of Pentacles um, and you're trying to offer, um, you're trying to offer something to somebody else that somebody else isn't taking your offer. Hmm. Then we have temperance. Temperance is telling me that you need to wait and be patient, which was also what we were getting with the Knight of Pentacles. Then we have the Tower. So there's going to be a sudden change. There's going to be a sudden change that's going to be able to allow you to uh, communicate your truth. I just have a feeling that you don't want me to know what it is that you're trying to communicate, Gemini. And maybe you don't even know yourself what it is you're trying to communicate, but I have a feeling by the end of the week you'll be able to communicate what you're trying to communicate. And I definitely see you trying to communicate it to somebody that's important to you. Okay. You might feel stagnant, like you're not going anywhere. Um, you can't get your thoughts out completely. Oh, but we got the star. That's great news. Um, the star is telling me that your wishes will come true. Um, your 
hope is on the horizon so um, you will be able to communicate what you wanted to communicate we also got the ten of pentacles which is telling me that um, you're going to have an abundance um, possibly financial abundance but um, and being that we did get a lot of pentacles and here you're trying to offer pentacles maybe this is something relating to money maybe um, you're trying to communicate something about money like maybe you're, you're you don't have enough money for something and you're afraid that that's going to upset somebody else but then you're going to get your financial abundance towards the end of the week um that's what i'm seeing here but there might be something deeper to that too let's see if i can get any more clues from this um, what i got so far trying to create some sort of stability um, we have both the page and the knight of pentacles And we have a lot of pentacles here, so I do feel like you're trying to create some sort of financial stability. And um, you're afraid to tell somebody something at the beginning of the week because you might feel insecure about finances. Um, maybe you don't have enough money to give somebody in need, and you're kind of like, you feel... You feel kind of upset about that and um, then your finances seem to improve by the end of the week and you're able to give this uh, abundance of wealth and share it with those that you love all right let's see pull some oracle cards to see more what's going on in your week some kind of guidance so what should Gemini do this week okay we got several here playtime the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations So, I'm seeing this whole, like, you being moody, keeping a secret, and trying to offer somebody something, but then it's saying to play right around it, so... Then we have the mermaid is singing. So maybe, uh, maybe you need to spend some time playing with music, like incorporating music into your life. Um, we'll see if we we'll get the um, oracle card that has to do with music because. Um, That would only confirm it. Do we have any more instruments in here? Music can be very important for healing. Here she's playing a shell, shell. So maybe you need to play music if you're a musician, like, or just listen to music. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone 
confidence and expertise in this area. That's right next to temperance, which is telling me you need to talk to somebody that will help you be more patient uh, or um, just learn of patience. Pay attention, notice repetitious signs in your inner guidance as you can yield valuable information. Okay. over the place this week, Gemini. That's very typical of Gemini, though. Okay, we got a couple more here. Self-employment. You're born an entrepreneur and your business is surrounded with magical opportunities. Huh. So maybe you're, you need to focus on your employment and it will get you the reward you want. Watch your thoughts. It's important to think about what you desire and not what you fear. Yeah, so you were definitely fearing something staying inside your shell and you were worried about this decision you had to make at the beginning of the week, but um, it's telling you not to be afraid. And blessed change, a major life change brings great blessings. So yeah, this tower moment is gonna bring a major life change. And I'm guessing it's for the better. Um, I'm seeing that you may have not had as much money as you wanted to give to this person or your friends and this major life change, this tower moment, is going to give you all this abundance, all this abundance of money. Um, seeing that music was kind of important in this, um, perhaps something to do with music. I'm feeling music is important for you this week. Perhaps you are a mus musician. Protection. You are love. You and your loved ones are your possessions are safe and protected in heaven. That's uh, right next to this abundance card. So I see a family here eating a, eating a large meal with um, lots of money on the table. So it's just showing that um, all your family and friends are protected and um, there's no real need to worry about this decision you're trying to make. Perhaps it's a financial decision. No real need to worry because there will be a major life change and you will be protected in the long run. So let's pull some charms here. Okay, we got some here. What do we get? Mental happiness is total relaxation. So Perhaps listen to music and that will help you relax. You have the chariot, so things are moving forward. We have the ten of uh, wands in reverse, so there's going to be a burden lifted off your shoulders. We have the nine of swords so you might have been having trouble sleeping um perhaps because of a financial issue or a decision you had to make regarding finances um 
we have the two of wands in reverse that's telling me that perhaps you were having trouble coming up with the finances to go on a trip somewhere maybe you wanted to go on a trip somewhere and you didn't have the finances for it and you were disappointed or you're afraid that you're going to disappoint friends because of it because you wanted to have this big family or friend get together and um yeah that's kind of clarifying it for me um maybe you're wanting to go on a trip and you don't have funds for it here we have uh the eight of pentacles which is telling me you're working hard to get the money you need you're working hard on a project here we can have the king of swords um this could be your energy or it could be um someone around you but he's a very strong communicator um and very intelligent um masculine energy air sign so gemini libra aquarius you have the high priestess um that's telling me that uh, you need to listen to your intuition right now. And then we have the Page of Cups, which is a youthful energy, water sign, water sign energy. So think Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Pisces. And they're bringing a gift of love to you. And we have a seashell. That's kind of making me think, okay, we, we got a lot of stuff that has to do with the ocean. I know I have a lot of ocean cards, like I, that's my whole thing, but I kind of have a feeling that you wanted to go to the beach. Or maybe you need to go to the beach. Something about the ocean's drawing you in. Then we have this angel watching over a couple of children. So angels are definitely watching over you. We got that with the protection card. Um, <coughs> we have this spiral here. That's telling me um, you may be feeling like your finances might be spiraling out of control. But it's just a cycle and it will come back around. We have the light bulb, which is telling me you're going to have a bright new idea, a brand new idea. You kind of get that with the star. It's like a light comes on, a light of hope. And um, then we have the swimming, also telling me maybe going to the beach or some large body of water. Um, you might have been planning some vacation. And you're kind of disappointed because you didn't get to go on that vacation. Um, then we have the Montana with the bear and the moose. And it says best friends. So, yeah, I feel like you might have been planning a vacation with your friend. And you're kind of sad because you're afraid that you weren't going to have the finances for it. And... Uh, it could be a family member too, but you're planning a vacation with a friend or a family member or a loved one, and um, you're sad that you don't have the finances for it, but towards the end of the week, you're going to have the finances um, to, if not to go on the vacation, to at least enjoy time with your family. Um, yeah. And I definitely feel like the ocean may be calling you right now, or if not the ocean, a large body of water. So um, maybe you need to go to a large body of water to um, do some meditation or um, practice some magic, whatever you do um, to... Um, 
stabilize your life. I mean, like, just to get grounded in the energy of the water. Okay. So that's all I have for you, Gemini. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.